Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Having morals in the Philippines. Um, the fact is, there's a lot of contradictions in the Philippines, a lot of uh, hypocrites, etc. Um, I know I badger the Catholic faith, but uh, faith. But the reason being is I see what it gets up to and it's on my doorstep. If I was in Mindanao with Muslims in the mosques, I'm sure I would have more to say about that. But the reality is I'm not. But the point is in the Philippines, the Catholic Church is put on a pedestal. As such, it becomes the guidance of morals. Um, but often it's not actually Biden by them by itself, which then creates this whole um, gray area. Let's just call it that. So if you actually live by your own morals and set the standards and everything else, people respect it in their community. But B, they look up to you. Um, I find people come back to me for there's all sorts of stuff. I mean, from a uh, ethical point of view, um, I think last year we paid for three childbirths um, because the people had worked from us, uh, for us in some way. Um, but also one of the children were very sick. Um, so we alleviated the, uh, the cost. Now, we don't talk about it um, generally because it's just something we do for people and it's not, uh, it's not something we boast. Also, I don't like people coming to me and demanding that I help them. I do this because these people um, are important to us um, because from an ethical point of view, these people have worked for me in some way. From a moral point of view, it's the right thing to do in the way I live. Um, and I think that's the whole point in life. If you have morals and ethics, it makes a happier person. Because I know when we did the aid convoy stuff, a lot of people don't get why I emptied the bank account to go and do it. But I looked at it from the standpoint that this is only miles up the road. This is on the same island. And this is um, a situation I could have been in exactly the same state. These people weren't getting aid, and now the, all this stuff's coming to the surface with the UN and all oh, those Yolanda monies disappear, blah, blah. Surprise, surprise. Um, they knew it was going to happen. Um, we knew it was going to happen before the, the aid even arrived um, from corrupt charities and whatever. They're all as bad as each other. But anyway, push that to one side. From my moral and ethics point of view is that I would want somebody to be there if I was in a similar situation. So as such, we emptied what we could afford and went and did it. Gave away as much as we could. Um, do, I, do you feel bad about money going? The answer is no. Do you feel happier that people got fed and stuff like that? Of course I do. Not only that, they appreciated it. They respected it. Um, I didn't want a thanks for it. I wasn't asking for a thanks. The point is that you want more people to be more ethical and morally um, guided. But to do that, you need to be the person that actually shows the standards that people should aspire to. Um, otherwise, things don't change. Because in a Western society, I hear so much, I pay my taxes, that's not my problem. Um, which I struggle to deal with that argument, but I can understand the frustration that we waste money on taxes and the money gets misspent. Um, but we need to change the governments and I'm not going to do that in this video. <laughs> so, but yeah, just a bit of moral guidance. Just set the standard. You, you'll find people appreciate it. And on top of that, it's a happier lifestyle. It really is. Right, thanks for watching.